Welcome to Past Us. Today we'll talk about top five actors died from Saved by the Bell. I couldn't kill them. I love the little guys. Now, through the years I've been to a lot of schools, I've met a lot of principals, but I have never met a principal. Created by Sam Bobrick for NBC, it was broadcast from August 20, 1989 to May 22, 1993. A retooling of the Disney Channel series Good Morning, Miss Bliss, the show follows a group of high school friends and their principal at the fictional Bayside High School in Los Angeles. There were many cast members in the series. Among those, these top five actors are now no more. Here's the list of top five actors died from Saved by the Bell. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number five, Casey Kasem. You know, through the years I've been to a lot of schools, I've met a lot of principals, but I have never met a principal who was so caring, so involved, and so hip as your own. Kima Lam and Casey Kasem was an American disc jockey, actor, and radio personality who created and hosted several radio countdown programs, notably American Top 40. He was the first actor to voice Norville Shaggy Rogers in the Scooby-Doo franchise. The sidekick of Scooby-Doo for the past 17 or 18 years, and his name is Shaggy. And Shaggy would like to say a few words to the young people out there, all right? Go ahead. Are okay. you Shaggy? I'm Shaggy. Go ahead, Shaggy. Shaggy talks Shaggy. like this. The way he talks, Jer. Go and ahead. he's always talking about his good buddy Scoob, his old friend, his old pal. He also guest starred in several television shows throughout the years, including Saved by the Bell. In October 2013, he was revealed to have Parkinson's disease, which he had been diagnosed with in 2007, until it was discovered he had Lewy body dementia, which is similar identifying symptoms. This sadly robbed him from his speech and his talent. He passed away on June 15, 2014, at the age of 82. Number 4. Gary Beach I'm Zach Morris. You must be Mr. Diamond. Gary Beach was an American actor of stage, film, and television best known for the role of Roger Debris in both the stage and film productions of The Producers. Beach's television credits include both the 2003 and 2009 Kennedy Center Honors, Queer as Folk, Murder, She Wrote, Cheers, Sisters, Arliss, and Saved by the Bell, as well as recording The Producers, a documentary for PBS. Beach also recently lent his voice to Fox's Family Guy, where he played Dale in the now infamous Band from Television episode, Partial Terms of Endearment, available on DVD. In 1994, Beach originated the comical role of Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast, a performance that earned him a Tony Award nomination for Best Featured Actor in a Musical in 2001. Gary Beach has died on July 17, 2018, at the age of 70. He passed away at his home in Palm Springs, California, according to his agent, Stephen Unger. Number 3. Henry Albert Pollock II See, I know all the sweat and sacrifice that goes into a production Mr. like this. Mr. Building, they have to go on. Oh, oh. Well, in the tradition of the theater, I will not wish you good luck. I'll just say, break a leg. Places! Henry Albert Pollock II was an American stage, screen, and voice actor, best known as Jerry Silver on Webster. Pollock was also a prolific and popular television game show player and host, having been a semi-regular on both the $25,000 Pyramid and its later incarnation, the $100,000 Pyramid, both hosted by Dick Clark. Pollock also hosted the 1986 ABC TV game show Celebrity Double Talk and found cult fame as the voice of the Scarecrow in the 1990s Batman the Animated Series. Pollock earned a lifetime of acting credits in other television series and films, including his regular role as Dracula in the 1976 series Monster Squad. On Saved by the Bell, he played as Mr. Brainbridge on episodes Snow White and Seven Drocks. What is going on here? Pollock died on August 11, 2013, after a long battle with cancer at the age of 68. Number 2. Luann Gideon I'd really appreciate it if you could have the baby around the 15th. Today's not my day in the baby pool. Luann Gideon was an American actress, best known for her role as antagonist Daniel Atron on Nickelodeon's The Secret World of Alex Mack. She was also the last actress to play Liza Walton Sentel on the long-running soap opera Search for Tomorrow. Also on Saved by the Bell, in fact, her appearance in the Season 4 episode Earthquake remains one of the weirdest moments in Saved by the Bell history. While Gideon made her mark with only a single episode, her career spanned far beyond the series. The actress racked up more than 30 credits to her name over the course of her 27-year career in Hollywood. Her last appearance was in the 2013 film Ten Rules for Sleeping Around. Luann Gideon passed away in February 2014 at the age of 58. 
her obituary listed cancer as her cause of death. Number 1. Dustin Diamond <laughs> You caught me! I couldn't kill him! I love the little guys! Dustin Neil Diamond was an American actor, director, stand-up comedian, musician, and occasional professional wrestler, best known for his role as Samuel Screech Powers throughout the Saved by the Bell franchise. He was one of the series' most unforgettable characters. Dustin Diamond played Zach Morris's geeky sidekick and showed lots of his character's lovable qualities for 12 years and hundreds of episodes across the franchise, from Good Morning Miss Bliss to Saved by the Bell, The New Class. While his post-Bell career was marked by more controversy than new career highs, Diamond's legacy as a teen star is still undisputable. In early January 2021, Diamond was diagnosed with extensive stage 4 small cell carcinoma of the lungs. When the actor passed away on February 1, 2021 at the age of 44, fans were shocked and heartbroken. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.